It's summertime, and the boardwalk in Ocean City, Maryland is bustling with activity. The smell of salty sea air is interrupted by the sweet smell of caramel popcorn floating in on the breeze. Behind the counter of Fisher's popcorn, dozens of teens race to fill bags, boxes, and bins with freshly made caramel popcorn. Using their cash register only to log the items they've sold, they make change in their heads with the same accuracy and speed of the machine. A voice calls out from the back, coming out, and everybody clears a path to the front case so a gentleman can carry a very hot and very heavy copper kettle filled with his latest batch to add to the mix. I'm 15 years old, working on my first job ever. How cool is this? I get to go to the beach every day on purpose. I'm supposed to be there. I'm hanging out with friends, I'm making new friends every day, and I'm making a pretty good paycheck on top of that. My first paycheck has already gone to a brand new pair of real Doc Martens. <laughs> my next few paychecks are earmarked for my first bass guitar. What I couldn't ever think of at the time, and didn't realize until just recently, was the lesson I learned in three years of Fisher's Popcorn was one of being intentional about your company's culture. Now, the Fishers would have never told you that they are intentional about their company's culture. They would have just told you that's the way we do things. They use good old-fashioned family values. They teach lessons on efficiency, on teamwork, on safety, on communication. They've been doing it that way since 1937. So I'd say that my three years working at Fisher's Popcorn was more than instrumental in landing me the career I have now as the culture evangelist with Zappos Insights. So is there anybody here who has not heard of Zappos? Wow, there's normally one. I'll give you a moment now while I mention Zappos too, you can check out the shoes. People always want to see what I'm wearing, but... We are known for our shoes, our clothing, our accessories that we sell on a website, but almost more than that, we're known for our focus on customer service. We're known for our focus and drive on our culture. As the culture evangelist, I get to travel around the world and speak to businesses both small and new and big and old, about why it's important to be intentional about your culture, to know your values, and find your success, no matter what that success looks like. Now, not all of my experiences have been great, like Fisher's or Zappos. My second job was at a gas station. Now, this was also a small family-run business, and the owner would have told you that he was using good old-fashioned family values to drive his decisions. But the experience for me was extremely different. I worked alone on the overnight graveyard shift. I had a few customers that would come in, I had some menial tasks, occasionally a friend would hang out with me, and I had the radio to keep me busy. So it was okay as far as jobs go. There was nothing to write home about. It got worse one night when I was doing my drawer count and found that I was missing $400. Now I knew that I wasn't gonna steal from the company. I hadn't taken $400, but I couldn't prove that I hadn't. The store owner couldn't prove that I had, and he had nobody else to cover the hours, so he didn't fire me or press charges. Thanks. I worked in misery for about a month. And when it finally came to light that a store owner's friend who had visited the store that night went behind the counter and helped himself to the safe, I was offered a very small apology. But I was also now free to go. There was no sense of security, no sense of teamwork, never a celebration of a job well done. I feel that that experience was equally as important in me becoming who I am today. When you have those ups and downs, the downs are just as important to learn and grow from as, as the ups. So now I've got the best job in the world. I get to inspire companies to look at their people and their values. And I bet if you think for just a moment, you can come up with one of those groups. You've worked in an organization or a group that left you feeling the same way. But first you're going to think about a group that left you thinking and feeling the other way. So I want you to take a moment, and I want you to think about a group that left you sad, scared, or stressed. And don't, don't think too hard about it, because it's probably going to come right up to you. But go ahead and just think about that experience. All right. So they're never ever going to invite me back, because I just made the whole room depressed, right? <laughs> There's a lot, a lot to learn from those experiences, and you might not think about it until it comes up as a learning example. So let's take a walk on the smile side. I want you to think about a group 
or an experience, a company you've worked for that left you really happy. So for me, that would be obviously my first job experience and my family that I have at the Zappos family. But go ahead and think positively. Was it easier to come up with a difficult situation, a bad situation, or a good situation? It's probably about even, wasn't it? Because deep down, you know those experiences that have made who you are, and you just don't think about them a whole lot. So what was missing in the experience that was bad, that was present in the experience that was good? Chances are a clearly defined set of values or guiding principles. The vision of the group, why are we even doing what we're doing? That sense of higher purpose. Have you ever actually addressed your own values before you address the group's values? Do you really know what drives your success? So that's what we do at Zappos. As Rob mentioned, we are one of the 100 best companies to work for, five years in a row on the Fortune magazine list. And we didn't start off in 1999 knowing that culture was going to be a driver for our brand, a driver for our success in our business. It wasn't until 2004 when our CEO saw that we were going to be growing and doubling in headcount in the next few years that he realized, we've got some really cool stuff going on. And what's got us through some really hard times in the past can get us through the next stage of growth. But we have to know what it is. Now, as the CEO, he sat down to come up with the core values for the company. He made the decision that if he wrote down the values of, of Zappos, he was going to miss something. So instead, he asked the entire employee base, what are your values? What makes Zappos Zappos? And the big picture question, who do we want to be when we grow up? From the hundreds of employees, there were hundreds of responses. There were 37 themes that really rang true and were the most resounding values. So when they compiled those 37, they re-released those to the entire company to say, hey guys, have we taken something out that's really important? Have we added something that isn't really here? And everybody agreed, this, this is a great representation of who we are at the Zappos family. They narrowed the list down further, because they're really nice and didn't want to make us remember 37 things. They came up with a list of 10 core values. So you can see the values are pretty all-encompassing. They're not just focused on driving the business. We do have pursue growth and learning and do more with less. They're not just focused on our customer service aspect. We do have deliver wow through service. And these values cover everything we do in every part of the organization. So the Deliver Wow Through Service core value isn't just for our contact center, the folks who are giving the customer service. We view every interaction as, an, as a, a possibility to make a really great wow experience. We have a fun and a little weirdness. So uh, Blair was talking about gaming and making things into a game. Our training team is excellent at having an idea, talking about the idea, and then playing a game to cement the learning. Fun and a little weirdness also means that we get to be ourselves. So nobody's ever told me how I have to dress when I go to work. This is actually really, really dressed up for Zappos, by the way. <laughs> so our CEO typically wears a Zappos t-shirt, a pair of jeans and shoes. So uh, I got the jacket on, just figured I'd go one, one more dressy. <laughs> the fun and weird side also allows us to have parades, randomly, parades come by. They're celebrating an anniversary, uh, maybe of Woodstock, with tambourines and maracas and the age of Aquarius blaring through a boombox. They might celebrate a project or a team win. But the core values also drive a lot of growth when things get tough. As recently as 2008, Zabba's experienced layoffs, 8% across the board. It was the hardest decision we ever had to make. We were told exactly why the layoffs had to occur, and we were told that the core values weren't going to change. Let's focus on pursuing growth and learning. Let's focus on doing more with less. Our core values are actually on our name badges. So I'm not going to the office today, but I wore my badge. And if I ever need to reference a core value, they're right there for us. They're really small. I know you can't see them. It's OK. They become a part of our language. And that language is huge. We hold each other accountable to the core values. So the entire organization knows who we are. We're all aligned around these values. We use them to guide every decision that we make in the Zappos family. We actually hire people who are aligned with the culture and core values. We will fire people if they show us they are not aligned with the core values. It's not even the values themselves that make this a success. 
It's being committed to living the values and the culture. So your culture might have guiding principles. It might have a mission statement or a vision statement. But do you really know who you are? Would you guys agree that there's a culture here today? Yeah, anywhere you go where more than a few people are working together, a culture has developed. There was a culture driving the creation of this conference in all the communications, getting everybody lined up to speak, helping us with these talks. It's been a great culture. There's a culture right now with the group that's running the conference today. It should be a big part of everybody's approach and everybody's day. Culture isn't just a buzzword, by the way, that helps bloggers get more page views, right? So as the culture evangelist, I get to work with companies from around the world, big and small, on that approach to culture. Not about taking what we do at Zappos and doing this specifically, but figuring out who you are. What would it look like in an educational environment if you looked at who we are really? What's driving us? What's driving our students? What's driving our faculty? What's driving the community that we're a part of? And took the time to define that and live that. Well, I think it could be pretty huge. And we'll see, because there's a high school in Las Vegas that took that approach. They got everybody together, all the stakeholders were involved in a process to come up with belief statements. They believe that every student can learn. They believe that every student can earn a diploma. Very strong language there, right? They don't deserve it. They can earn it. And we believe that all students can succeed after high school. We're not just setting them up to graduate. We're setting them up for life. They're also committed to having all stakeholders involved with their decision-making processes. So you say, that sounds great, right? But John, what can I do? Here's the awesome part. All you have to do is start the discussion. Get the people in your community, in your team, in your organization involved. And take those steps. It doesn't have to be 10 core values. It doesn't have to be three belief statements. Figure out who you are and what's driving your success. You might want to start by figuring out who you are personally, so you can then help with the group. But start the discussion. Define it, commit to living it, and then everybody truly can be better together. Thank you.